Welcome to the Force Tutorials Maya Masterclass. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to create curves from a surface. Now, so far we have used curves to create nerve surfaces. Now let's take a look at how to create curves from an existing nerve surface and then use that curve to bridge two separate surfaces together. So in order to create a curve from an existing surface, we need to first select that surface, go into the isopalm mode, and then we need to create an isopalm at the place where we need the curve. Uh, let's create one there. And then we need to go into our curves menu and select duplicate surface curves. Right after we click on the tool, you can see that we have now a curve available to us in our scene, which follows the surface that we put it on. Just like before when we created surfaces from curves and when we edited those curves afterwards, the surfaces change accordingly. This command also follows the same principle. Uh, now that we have created a curve from a surface, if we edit this surface, the curve will follow accordingly. As you can see, let's undo this and you can do that anywhere on a surface. Uh, you can create a curve anywhere on any surface and you can also use these curves to attach two different objects together. So let's take a look how you can do that. Let's first go back into our isopalm mode and then select our curve just right at the edge of this object. Now that we have this one done, let's go to our curves menu and do the duplicate surfaces from curve. And now we need to do the same thing to our other object as well. Uh, let's go back into the isopalm mode and do one at the edge of this one as well. Go back into our curve menu and do the duplicate from surfaces again. So now we have two custom curves at the edge of both of our objects. And if we select both of those curves, go to our surface menu and select loft. You can see that now both those surfaces are connected together. Uh, right now it is black you can fix that by turning on the two-sided lightning on or you can go to your surface menu and select reverse direction here that will fix the normal direction of that lofted object now since both of those curves are connected to the respective object if we move one of those you can see that the created nerve object will follow those accordingly now these are not connected by the attach command these are connected by history so if you delete the history of these objects the connections will break and this will become three separate objects and you can also move the curves independently but if you move the curve connection the object will pick up from the connection where you left the curve at so be careful about that so now that you know how to create curves on an existing nerve surface and how to use those created curves to attach two different surfaces together I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, drop a comment. And if you wanna support me directly, the link to my merch store and my Patreon is in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video.